My research is really very, very heavily focused on trying to look at, you know, bench to bedside, what we term translational research. But in recent years, we've actually sort of flipped that on its, on its head and we've started to do a lot of clinical research whereby we go into the clinic and we take very, very high resolution pictures of the retina at the back of the eye in normal, non-disease cohorts of, of individuals, but also patients who have age-related macular degeneration, AMD. AMD is one of the most common forms of blindness in the Western world. We reckon that one in 10 people over the age of 55 have AMD. And obviously, as the name suggests, age-related macular degeneration, your risk increases with age. So people over the age of 70, there's a one in four chance that you will have AMD. People over the age of 90, there's a one in two chance. So very, very prevalent form of blindness. It affects the central retinal vision. So when, when blindness affects the center of your field of view, you can't read, you can't write, you, you can't, uh, drive, you have difficulty watching television, you have difficulty seeing people's faces. So really it's a huge loss of independence for individuals when they're in the, you know, the, 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 the twilight of their lives, they should be enjoying their retirement. There are drugs on the horizon, thankfully. Um, the likelihood isn't within the next 12 months, there will be a drug approved for treating dry AMD. So it's very, very exciting times to be involved in this, this research and this area of research. The first thing that I see is we're, we're going to gain a better understanding of the condition. So my lab does not develop drugs per se, drug companies do that. What we do is we're ideas people. We probe these diseases, try to figure out what are the actual underlying, the early causes of this disease. Well, I think I'm quite unique actually in that my funding for my PhD in 2002 was actually from a fighting blindness research scholarship, that they, a program they used to run. So I wouldn't actually be sitting here as a scientist if it wasn't for, for PhD funding that I originally received from fighting blindness. So from 2006 and, or 2002 until 2006, I received PhD funding from fighting blindness Ireland. So I work on trying to develop a gene therapy for um, age-related macular degeneration. Uh, the dry form of age-related macular degeneration, which is incredibly common. So about 10% of people over 65 have this condition, um, but there are no conventional therapies for it to date. So it's, uh, it's something we've been working on in the lab quite extensively. But we also work on lots of other things, other uh, disorders uh, that involve mitochondrial dysfunction in particular. Well, I guess it hopefully will link in very directly to finding new cures because obviously we are aiming to make a gene therapy for, for various conditions, including my own age-related macular degeneration. And we've shown uh, proof of concept that it works in various models. And it is our wish to bring that forward, to, to, to get it to leave the lab and get some wings and maybe hopefully end up in the clinic one day. Not, not today, not tomorrow, but one day. It's absolutely our aim. Listen, without funding, there is no research. It's as simple as that. So we, we're incredibly grateful to Fighting Blindness, to all our funders, but to Fighting Blindness in particular because we go back such a long time and we have such close connections. So yeah, there is no research without funding. <laughs>